Hi there everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I have my March empties to share with you and you guys this is a big one. So I've really focused this month on getting through some bricks. This does not mean that I opened and finished the brick within the month of March. Some of these bricks I've been working on for a few years actually. Some are newer but some it's been a couple of years <laughs> and one even more than that I believe. Um, also got through a lot of bars. I focused on bricks and getting through a lot of partial bars. So just note and you know every now and then I will state this in my videos because I will get the question you go through that much wax you know in one month how is that possible? Guys I am not opening all of these clamshells as full clamshells and using every single one um, that you see in my empties for the month. A lot of these are partials some can have four cubes left, two cubes, one cube. You know, I don't always use an entire Scentsy bar every time uh, I warm wax. I normally do in my main area, in my living room, uh, but places like my kitchen, my bathroom, my office, my bedroom, I don't use full bars in there. So just wanted to put that out there because you're about to see a lot. Uh, as usual, I'm just going to go ahead and get started here with non -sensi. And um, somebody had asked me why I still had Christmas decor out. Guys, it's not specifically Christmas. It's just a snowman and a tree. So it's just some winter decor. And here where I live, we actually just got hit with another uh, snowstorm. We got another probably two to two and a half feet of snow. And um, it's currently minus four. So we're not in spring yet here and I'm not ready to switch over to spring decor until spring actually shows up. <laughs> so just answering a couple of questions I've had, uh, but I'll go ahead and dive right in here. It's only a couple of nonsensey this month, guys. Uh, one is a candle here and this is Bath and Body Works Sugared Snickerdoodle which is warm spice, creamy vanilla, sugared musk. So I was actually a little on the fence about this one. I got it during a sale over the winter. Um, I like the smell of snickerdoodles, but in wax and candles, I've never really found a strong one. This is the exception to that rule. So, oops, sorry, I bumped the camera there. Uh, this was actually a very strong snickerdoodle scent. It was a great performer, so that would definitely be a repurchase. And then got through a hand soap, also from Bath & Body Works. And this one is in Sugar Plum and Rose. So this one is Blackberries, Sweet Sugar Plum, and Ice Rose. Unfortunately, the rose note in this took over. I was hoping for more plum and just a hint of rose, but it ended up being like a lot of rose and very, very little plum. So that one would not be a repurchase for me. I'm not the hugest fan of rose scents. And then the last uh, hand soap, and also I think this is the last for nonsensey, just quick this month, guys, is uh, Warm Donut Sugar Hand Soap from Goose Creek. And this one is Cinnamon Sugared Fried Dough Vanilla Bean and Sugar. This was a nice scent. It was on the lighter side, uh, but quite nice. I did read on the Goose Creek website that they are reformulating, repackaging their hand soaps. So I'll be interested to see what they come out with next. Actually, I should push this stuff a little bit over to the side here. Excuse the reaching. This table is about to be really full. So we're going to go ahead and dive into Scentsy Non-Wax here. So I'll start with Scent Circles. Ooh, I got four here. Actually, I think I have. I think I have one in my car too that I need to uh, that I forgot to take out. So I think this was my very last one of apple and oats. I actually had this going under my kitchen sink for quite a while. Um, not yeah, there's nothing really left on this one, but this one was quite strong. I had it under there for a couple of months at least, so it was a good long-lasting scent circle. And then the next one, I tried this in my car. This was a complete dud. Uh, black Raspberry Vanilla. 
The thing is though, guys, when I pulled this out of the packaging itself, there I couldn't smell anything. Like, I don't know if there was maybe a rip in the packaging. Something happened with this. It's not usual. Like I've had black raspberry vanilla um, scent circles in the past and that has not happened before. So I think this was just a fluke. One thing I do like about the black raspberry vanilla, and I think there's a couple of others too. They put like a little saying on the back of it. I kind of wish all the scent circles did that because it's just, you know, something kind of bright and cheery to look at during the day. Um, but this had no scent, so this went nowhere. I, I didn't even put it in my car. It There was no point in putting it under my sink or in a closet. It had zero fragrance right out of the package. So that one was a dud. Uh, Clementine cupcake. I actually found this on the floor of my car. <laughs> So I actually dropped the pod and, you know, I kind of got down there to look for it and I found this scent circle. So I have no idea when this was from. No clue. Um, but I have used this one in the past and it's, you know, maybe a day at most. It's not a very long lasting scent circle. And then Clean Breeze here I had upstairs in my closet. This was fantastic. This was a great scent circle. So I've had this one in the past that did not, or I've tried this one, <laughs> this scent in a scent circle in the past. It did not perform as well as this one did. This did really well in my closet this time around. So I think a lot of the times when it comes to scent circles, I think age plays a factor um, in these. The next thing I got through here is... Actually, this was from the, I believe, the entire month of February. And if not, like, February 1st, you know, to the end of the month, it could have been February 5th until March 5th kind of thing. I had um, this fluffy fleece car bar in my car for an entire month. However, you know, the dates, however that worked out, it was in there for a month. It was really, really good. Um, I tie the top off a little bit. Because sometimes these are too long and they dangle too far down. Um, like I have a phone holder in my car for my phone. I drive for a living. So um, this sometimes hangs too low in my car. And the way the phone holder is positioned, sometimes the scent circle can like rest on it. Which you don't want. Um, or not scent circle, sorry, car bar. You don't want these resting on anything. The oils will leak. Well, not leak, but leach is more, uh, uh, I think, yeah, that would probably be more correct. Because when you feel it here, it's not like it's oily, but if you leave it sit on a surface, it will eat away at a surface and it will also leave oil stains. So I tie these off at the top to make them a little bit shorter, but this was really, really great. I would definitely buy fluffy fleece in the car bar. Uh, for next winter and then I got through <laughs> a scent pack here not a drop of scent left in this this is Big Hero 6 would you like a hug so I use this one in my vacuum cleaner um, as always I'll leave the link in the description of how to use a scent pack in your vacuum cleaner I love this scent I love it so much it was great it was strong it was long lasting um, I had it in there for probably a month and a half. Next up here, I got through a fragrance flower. There we go, just making sure it wasn't leaking. This is just, when you see these dark spots, guys, on your fragrance flowers, that is just the wood that is used to make them. So there's no concerns there. This one was in Cozy Cardigan. So dry as a bone here. This was great. I don't think I've used a cozy cardigan in the past, but this was wonderful. So this was not super strong, like blow you out of the bathroom kind of strong. That's where I put the fragrance flowers in my bathroom, but you could definitely smell it. It was really, really pleasant. So that one would be repurchased. That was really good. Next up here. I got through a counter clean. I kind of made it a miss mission to finish this one this year. Uh, counter clean tends to last me a little while. I don't go through it super, super fast. So this one is Cider Mill. 
Um, I think I opened this, it was probably in September and I just finished it. So <laughs> I love counter clean. It's great for everything. And I think for me, like you don't need a super lot of this stuff to get the job done, which makes it really economical. So I love um, the counter clean, but I did not want to carry the scent cider mill into the spring. So finish that up. It was uh, great. I, I think I have at least one more in this scent. I really, really enjoy it in the counter clean. I actually enjoy the scent cider mill more in the cleaning line than I do in the wax. And then here we just have a couple of laundry items. So I got through a washer with tub in fluffy fleece. And there is also the jar discs inside here. So fluffy fleece is a favorite in laundry. Don't like it in wax, love it in laundry. And I'm now out, but because we are just about into spring here, um, fluffy fleece is like a winter scent for me for laundry. So I won't need to repurchase this one right away. Probably around September, October, I will get on ordering more of that one. Uh, but I love it, it's fantastic. I got through a clothesline scent soft uh, my scent soft stash is so sad at this point you guys um yeah i only have a handful of these left i really did a stock up when i learned they were going away but uh, it's never enough because i love the product right so i would have kept using scent soft forever i can only hope that at some point they bring this back but i don't have a lot of hope for that just seeing as how they cut it they cut a few products and then, you know, told us that we would be getting them in limited time offers. And that's been really few and far between. I think we've seen a dish soap, which was autumn road trip. So not, not a new scent. Um, yeah, there's just, a, I digress. Anyway, <laughs> there's been a, a few things that have gone away that, you know, I really, really miss. And then I got through a laundry soap here in black raspberry vanilla. So as you can see uh, by the scents on the table here, fluffy fleece, clothesline, black raspberry vanilla, I never get through a laundry system all at the same time. Kudos to you all that are able to do that. I don't think I've ever done it once. I would be shocked if it actually happened. So um I don't use them as directed, so that's probably on me. I use a little more soap than it says. I use more washer whiffs than it's, I use a little more of everything than it says, let's be honest. So <laughs> uh, black raspberry vanilla uh, favorite, especially for spring and summer. So we're gonna move on to the wax here, guys. I'm just gonna move this stuff that's currently on the table back some because there is quite a bit of wax coming. Alrighty, we're going to get into the bricks here. I made it a mission. I got to thank Patricia Gates. <laughs> she kind of kicks my butt and reminds me to warm through my bricks. I'm really bad at it. I'm great at collecting them, not the greatest at warming them. Uh, but she prods me in her videos and reminds me, you know, guys, use up those bricks. It's no good to you sitting in a drawer. So I really made it a focus over the past few months to try to get through some bricks, especially ones that have been sitting around a while. But I also made it a point to get through some of the newer ones that we got this year. That's what I'm gonna start off with here. Um, so these are the tree-shaped bricks. So I got through orange spice and everything nice. Um, I mean, the wax is good, the scent is good. I'm not a fan of the brick shape. So these are harder to store. And I wanted to get through some of them because I really didn't want to store them for a whole other year. So orange spice and everything nice was a nice scent. I enjoyed it. Um, not something I need in my club and not something I need more of, but it was good. Cozy Kitchen. I actually picked up a couple more of these, so I didn't want to store this third one. And seeing as how it was close to being done anyway, I just finished it off. So this is a great scent. I put it in my club, but then when the bricks went on sale and I bought a couple more, I took it out of my club because I thought, you know, I've got a two full, is it two or three? I think two full bricks uh, of Cozy Kitchen here. So that should be good. Um, hopefully <laughs> that will be good. 
And if not, I'm sure I can find another brick at some point if I need to. And then the next one here is Forever Flannel. So finish this one up. Actually, just yesterday or the day before yesterday, I put the last of this one in my room and in my bathroom. I know a lot of people really like this one. I will admit that it's stronger now that it's sat for a few months. Like when I first got this brick, I could barely smell this at all in my room. It did quite well uh, the last couple of times now that it's had a chance to sit and cure, but it's just not a favorite scent for me. It's all right. It's nice enough for a bedroom or bathroom, but not something that I personally need more of. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the bricks here that I've had sitting around for far too long. <laughs> the oldest of those being um, Marshmallow Mint Cocoa here. I think this was 2020, 2019 or 2020. For some reason, I always mix those two, two years up and can never remember what was what. But I'm going to go ahead and say 2020. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this has been sitting around for a while. And I have a few of these, you guys. So I needed to finish this partial um, brick up here. I probably had about half of this one left. I still have, I believe I still have one i should have checked before the video i think i have one full brick left but i started with three um in 2020 so um finish this one off it's getting like gooey as you can kind of see here uh it needed to be used up so i got through that another one i've had around for a long time uh i couldn't even tell you when is luna here so this has been sitting around so long that it was just getting like soupy and oily. I don't, I like Luna. It's just too light for my taste. Um, mostly I kept this brick around to warm with, oh my gosh, the sandalwood set, satin sheets. So I really like Luna and satin sheets together. Uh, Luna is not something I will ever need a brick of again. It's just not a scent that I use enough. Uh, to justify having that much wax. Uh, I'm glad to be done with that one. Next one up here, another one sitting around for a very long time, blueberry cheesecake. So this one, um, the wax was fine, wasn't goopy, wasn't super oily, even though I've had it sitting around a while. Blueberry cheesecake for me is just one of those scents that's all right. Like in the wax, I don't love this, but every now and then I get like a blueberry cheesecake craving. Like, oh, I really want some blueberry cheesecake in the kitchen, something like that. So definitely don't need another brick of this. Probably what I will do is pick up one bar and that bar would probably last me a year for the amount of times I actually warm this scent. Um... <laughs> My mom, I brought her a bunch of uh, Scentsy samples a few months back and blueberry cheesecake was one of them. I have a hard time looking um, at blueberry cheesecake without thinking of that memory because my mom's reaction to that was hilarious. She's one of the people that really pick up the off note, like that cream cheese off note. It was so funny, but blueberry cheesecake is really great in other products. Like in the car bar, it's probably one of my favorites. Uh, so in the wax, we are good. We don't need any more bricks of blueberry cheesecake. And then the last brick I got through here is Beach Daisy. So this one was a bit of a cheat. I had about half a brick left here. And I shared the rest of this brick with my friends, um, Michelle and Melanie. I sent them each a row. So I had like two rows and I sent them, I chopped it up and sent them each a row because they both really, really like this scent. For me, I like it. It's fine. It's nice, but I didn't need a brick of this one. Um, and it's something that I would just really warm in the bathroom. It's not a main space scent for me because of that floral note and it's too light so i uh, had a couple of friends that had mentioned in their videos how much they like this one so i shared the rest of this one um to finish that off so what do we have one two four seven so seven bricks finished off like i said not all within this month i've been working on some of these for a while but i'm really glad 
um, to have that done and free up some space. So now we're down to the wax here, guys. I kind of sorted and separated uh, this out, or wax bars, I should say. Um, I just noticed some people doing like room by room how they warm their wax. I don't know if this is something that I will do always going forward. I just, I had some time today, so I thought, let's separate these out and then I can let you know what rooms I warmed the sense in. So I'm gonna start off here with the office. I finished off uh, two bars in the office. I only warm normally about two cubes in there at a time, sometimes three, very rarely four. The scent is very light, probably four, but generally 90% of the time, two cubes. So it takes me a while to get through actual bars in there. Uh, the office is kind of, in some instances, it's kind of like the basement. I warm a lot of stuff I like in there, but if I know I don't have to be in there for a couple of days, I'll also use up scents that I don't particularly love. So that is the case here with Scary Good. Um, just, I don't like Scary Good, but I am finally through this bar and glad to be done with it. So happy <laughs> to have finished that. And then uh, Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. So this was a bar I only had two cubes left in didn't want to carry two cubes, you know, over into the next fall season. So just warm those in there. And this one actually was quite nice. I enjoyed cranberry pumpkin spice. Next here is the bathroom. So in my bathroom, I have a small bathroom. So I just have like a ceramic um, mini warmer in there. I don't have a full size. There's There isn't room for a full size in my bathroom. So I have a ceramic mini uh, warmer and I use one cube at a time in my bathroom. It takes me forever <laughs> to get through bathroom scents. Uh, for example, here is a bar of Scarlet Sunflower. I got this bar whenever it was first released. Maybe 2021? Yeah, it's a flat bottom. I think 2021 I got this bar. So it takes me a while to get through bathroom scents and I, I don't open a bar and just warm that scent until the whole bar is done. I'm warming different things in there every single day. Um, so this bar has been sitting around a while. I like the scent of su Scarlet Sunflower, but I was really finding difficulty like where to warm the scent where I enjoy it. Like if I open this and I smell it, I'm like, this is a nice scent, but put it in my kitchen, I don't like it there. Put it in my bedroom, I don't like it there. Try it in my living room, I don't like it there. So finally I ended up trying Scarlet Sunflower in the bathroom and that was the right spot for me. So I really enjoyed this one in the bathroom. Not sure if I have any more of this one left, but if I do, uh, that's where I will warm it. Next up here is Lavender in White Balsam. So this one was from a Bring Back My Bar quite a while ago. Um, I warmed some of this in my room previously, but there, like the, there's a sharp note in this one. The lavender is nice. It might be the balsam. Like this is a nice scent. Um, I think it's the balsam though that leans a little bit sharp for a bedroom scent. So I found that the place that I really like to warm this one is the bathroom. So that's where I use that one up. And then I had one lonely little cube. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how that happened uh, of blueberry or sorry, blue raspberry ice here. I think this one was also from 2021. I think the bring back my bar, maybe 2021, maybe 2022. Um, it's from a while ago though, and I just discovered this bar with one lonely little cube. So the only place one cube is going to work in my home is in the bathroom. So that's where I warm that completely, uh, out of season. <laughs> Next stack here is kitchen bars. So I do have my main living space bars that go with a lot of these kitchen bars, but I... I didn't have actually the patience to pair all of that together. I just wanted to go room by room for you this time. Uh, so Dutch apple bread here. This was actually a gift from my friend Michelle. This one is just one of those scents uh, that's okay. And she actually, she has a sticker shop, guys. Um, and she does scent notes for Scentsy Vars. So if you're looking for that, definitely check out um, her channel. And her information for her sticker shop is posted on there. 
So this one is sliced apples, warm cinnamon, brown sugar, and rolled oats. It's just an okay apple scent. It's not one that I loved and it's not one that I hated either. It was just middle of the road okay. But it's nice in the kitchen and I paired it uh, with scents I had going in my living room that were apple scents. So it worked out uh, quite nicely. So thank you for that, Michelle. Next one I did here, this was a parcel bar. I think I had three cubes left of this one. It, it's always weird to me when I end up with uneven numbers like that. But I had three cubes left of happy birthday. So warm this one in my kitchen. Worked out quite well. I used to have happy birthday in my club, but I have removed it and put king place, or king place, <laughs> king cake in its place instead. Uh, next one. This is my last one. I believe um, this was my very last bar here of apple and oats. Uh, again, just had a couple of cubes left. This is quite an old bar. So I warmed this one in my kitchen. And this one is a powerhouse. Like you really only need a couple of cubes of this. It's quite strong. Uh, it's a really good scent. I used to say, oh, if that came back, I would put it in my club. But enough time has passed and I've warmed it enough where I really like it. I enjoy it. I don't need it in my club, but I might pick up a bar or two. This is probably, if you ask me what my favorite scent for the kitchen uh, would be, it's probably going to be cinnamon vanilla. I use this one in my kitchen so much. I go through bars of this pretty fast. I'm really glad they had it in the fall winter catalog and then also in the spring summer catalog. I would love to see this as a year round scent because it works for all year really. I do tend to warm this more um, in fall and winter but I also feel a little nervous that they put it in the last two catalogs because then that has me wondering does that mean they're trying to deplete stock because they're going to cut it. I hope that's not the case. Uh, I really love cinnamon vanilla. Next one up here is hazelnut latte. So Nat and I recently had a conversation about hazelnut latte here. Uh, had a couple of cubes of this one left. Finished it up in my kitchen. You know, you'll have to let me know, you guys. When hazelnut latte first came out, this was a strong bar and a really good performer for me. And I love the scent. The only, like, good performing as in strength. The only problem that I had... Uh, with hazelnut latte was the fact that I didn't get longevity so I would have booming awesome strength but it was like four or five hours and gone so I had it in my club for a little bit ended up taking it out just because the longevity wasn't there but now like I ended up buying a few bars because I really do like this scent now that this has sat for quite a while now it's losing scent so I can barely smell this on cold and it's almost non-existent warming for me now. And usually it's the opposite. Usually the longer you let a Scentsy bar sit, the stronger it gets. I find this hazelnut, hazelnut latte here, uh, this has been the opposite of that. So if you all have hazelnut latte, can you let me know if you have also noticed that with this one? But I believe this was my last bar. Honestly, it's fine by me at this point because I could barely smell it anyway. And it's not just a matter of being overwhelmed with scent like in my home because on cold, I can barely smell this one. Uh, so that's how you know it's losing scent. If that one came back, you know, in fresh pores, I would buy a bunch and warm them quickly. That would be my game plan. But um, it seems over time that one just does not keep its scent. Next one, again, <laughs> gee, uh, last bar here too, I believe, of banana nut bread. So this is one I really like. It's a great scent, but it's a short performer, which is why I never put it in my club. But then when I run out, I'm sad I didn't put it in my club. I really love this one in my kitchen when I'm doing other banana scents in my main uh, living space. So sad that that was my last bar of banana nut bread and really hoping uh, to see it back again so I can stock up. And then the last one for my kitchen here, uh, birthday wishes. So, or no, this one, I'm sorry, this was supposed to be in the 
office pile because I had happy birthday going in my kitchen. I had birthday wishes going in my office. So this was the moment by moment collection, I believe in 2022 ish, 21, 22 flat bottom, good scent, not super strong, but it's a nice cake scent. And yeah, that's it for that. So I have a few bedroom scents here. We will go over those. First one up, this, this is such a favorite. This is French Kiss. This was from June 21, Spring Back My Bar. I had this in my club and I took it out and I've honestly been kicking myself ever since. This is so good. I, oh, this is a bar where I would probably do backflips if it came back. I really love um, French Kiss. It's a lot like Bath & Body Works Brown Sugar and Fig. It's such a good bedroom scent, but thankfully I do still have a couple of bars left of that one. Next one up is Fuzzy Blanket. So this one is a favorite for me. This went straight into my club. It's It was really light when these were freshly poured, uh, but it has gained in strength and I get really good longevity from Fuzzy Blanket. So it's not going to knock you out of the room, but it will last for a few days. So I love this one and... Um, plan to keep it in my uh, club for a long long time uh, finished up this one here creme de menthe this was from the Mardi Gras collection this is a little too light to kind of warm anywhere else in my home so I ended up warming this in my bedroom it's a nice scent it's just okay um, at first now people were saying they got chocolate in this and when I first got this bar as a fresh pour, I didn't smell that. But now that it's sat a little while, I can smell that too. This is a lot like Peppermint Dreams. So um, I have a stockpile of Peppermint Dreams. I think I might even have one in my uh, living room empties. So creme de menthe, nice scent. Not one I need more of, but it was enjoyable. Next up here is a club bar, and that is Sugar. So I actually have this one going in my room now. Just great scent, great on its own, great mixer. I love sugar. So really enjoyed that one in my room. And then the last one, yep, yeah, this is the last one I warmed in my room. That is Pink Haze. So I thought I was done with these bars. And then I found another one. It was sitting there for a while. I just want to see if, I, yeah, look at that. It was super gross. <laughs> it was so gooey gross. Um... I mean, it can't be that old because this is the packaging with the imprints on it, but this was super slimy. I remember putting a couple of bars of pink haze, you know, just threw them in the back of a drawer to sit and cure because I can't really smell this one. So this one got overlooked. Um, it's stronger when you let it sit, but it's still a light scent. It's nice, but it's not something I really need more of. All right, so the next little bit here is going to be main living space scents. Just give me one second. I need to pull all this kind of closer to me. All righty, we're going to start off here with Rum Pum Plum. So definitely went ahead and there comes the sun behind me. We're going to do this again. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Rum Pum Plum, great bakery plum scent. Love this one. Put it in my club. Very, very good performance from that one. Frosted cinnamon roll, I actually got through too. I love this so much. I put it in my club. Uh, one here, the one with the scent notes, was a gift from my friend Michelle. And then this one here, um, without the scent notes, was a partial bar. So I went ahead and used these up and enjoyed every little second of that. Frosted cinnamon roll is such a great scent. And I'm really glad to have that one in my club and... Um, thank you for gifting me another one, Michelle. Cranberry candy cane. Um, what's this? The holiday? I think this was holiday collection. Um, I really like cranberry candy cane. I threw it in my club and then thought, well, how much of a you know specific holiday scent do you need? So I did not end up keeping it in my club, but I did buy four or five bars. Because this is a really good performer, you guys. This one is a boomer in a main living space. It's a really great cranberry candy cane scent. So I really like this one. And I'm glad that I stocked up a bit. 
Next one up here is Mocha Doodle. You know, I love my Mocha Doodle. This is such a favorite. I'm going to have to probably um, move a little bit here so that <laughs> the camera will focus, guys. Um, Mocha Doodle is awesome. I love this one. I have a big stack of it, and I put it in my club anytime that it goes away. And, oh, <laughs> my love. Central Park Pralines. So this is totally an absolute, like, top three favorite of all time. I love Central Park Pralines so much. I have been patiently, maybe not so patiently, waiting for this to come back since... Gee, I think the last time this was back was 2019 or 2020. Yeah, it's been a while, you guys. This is such a good scent. Oh, it's just deep. Like, see the clamshell? How, like, the scent really sticks and stains in there. But it's just deep, roasty, toasty, yummy goodness. Sorry, I have my face stuck in this clamshell. This is a scent that... When I put it in the warmers, I leave it there until every little last drop of scent is gone. So I had Central Park Pralines going in my living room for at least five days. <laughs> I have very limited bars. I might have one, possibly two at the very most left. Um, so please, just a little plug here. If you see Central Park Pralines up for voting, can you please throw a vote for that one? Uh, for me, I would really appreciate it. So, Maraschino Sugar Cookie. I've got this one uh, going today. This is a powerhouse. I wanted to get through, I think I only had two bars. I finished one last month and now one this month. Um, just wanted to get through the bars because I have two entire bricks of this to use up. So, I'm going to start focusing on the bricks next. Oh, fried ice cream. This is like my nemesis bar. So this is the last one, thank goodness. Um, this stains your warmers horribly. Like it is, it is such a chore to clean your warmers. And I use rubbing alcohol. Normally everything just swipes right out. Not this scent. This is a freaking mess, you guys. Oh, I'm so glad to be done with this. The scent is great. Love the scent. But it's not worth the mess. So I recently got a candle crock that was uh, just a fantastic gift from my lovely friend Michelle. And what I ended up doing was throwing this entire bar of um, fried ice cream in the candle crock. It was a great idea. Um, I just used like an empty candle jar in there, threw that whole thing in there, and then it went for a while. It went for probably about two, three days, and when it was done, I just threw that empty candle jar out. <laughs> didn't have to worry about cleaning anything. Uh, next up here, I got through two of Cutie Pie Cupcake. So I had um, one partial, or no, I had two partials. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Sometimes that happens to me as well, where like, <laughs> I'll go through my wax, and I'll have like five in this one and two in this one. It's like, what are you doing, Brandy? So I had two partial bars of Cutie Pie Cupcake that I ended up using up on one of the nicer days here where it was more spring weather and less wintry. Uh, Peppermint Dreams, we just talked about this one. So this is a powerhouse. This goes for quite a while too. Uh, normally one day is all I can handle from this one. I really like the scent, but like one day and I'm good and I've got my fix for a while. So that one is Peppermint Dreams. Oh, King Cake. If you ask me, like, <laughs> we're only in March. Yeah, this came out January, right? I was thinking if this would have came out at the end of last year, I would have said this would have been my favorite bar for 2023. But I believe Mardi Gras came out in January. Or we got it in January. It might have come out to the public in February. No, I think it came out January. I, I love this. I, I love King Cake. This is like the best bar for me to come out in a long, long time. I'm so happy to have that one in my club. St. Knickerdoodle. So had a couple of apple scents going in the kitchen and I did this one in my main space. 
I did have this in my club, but I did end up removing it. I just had to make some cuts, and St. Knickerdoodle, unfortunately, was one that got cut, but I do have a few to still enjoy. Rum Raisin Cookie. This is also a club bar and a favorite for me. A powerhouse performer. Absolutely love Rum Raisin Cookie. Then we got through Hug in a Mug here. On one of the colder days, um, just a great like hot chocolate type of scent. And I really do love chocolate scents in wax. And had two partials <laughs> again. Uh, me with the parcels. I don't know what's up with that. I need to pay closer attention, but I had two parcels of brownie batter, uh, so got through this over the weekend. And then maple rum cake. Oh, this was a great bar. I would love to see this one back in the regular catalog. This just warms absolutely beautifully. And then one more scent and we will be done. And that is apple s'mores. Sorry there. Got the sun glaring behind me so I believe this one I believe I got this one from Patrice thank you Patrice um apple s'mores oh yummy yummy it's just such a good complex deep like smoky apple scent this was fantastic I had this go this is a long last or two so be prepared <laughs> To leave that one in your warmer for a few days it was so nice apple s'mores is one of those bars where i only need like one bar a year and i'm good but it's so good while it's going all right those are my stacks and towers of wax you guys i gave you fair warning i got through a lot this month really happy um with my brick progress and getting through a lot of these partial bars that i did not want to carry into uh spring or summer or next fall winter either so happy to uh have accomplished that so let me know what you've been getting into guys are you working on your bricks maybe this video was a little reminder and a little nudge your way to uh get working on them like patricia's was for me so thanks so much for watching everybody i hope you have a great day today take care and god bless